Hi guys, I'm Cameron Shane. I'm Elaine Shane. And welcome to our Budokan Handstand for Beginners video series. This is going to be a really cool series. Melaine's going to be assisting me the whole time. And uh, we're going to look at learning handstands. Um, and having Melaine in this is really going to be interesting because I actually taught Melaine how to do handstands. So she's a real live, true testimonial of I couldn't do a handstand and now I can do a handstand. So now it took us about, I think, um, two years. Okay. Two years, it took us of training to get her to be able to do a really nice, powerful, controlled handstand. She could do variations of handstands throughout that process, but it really took us a while to get her to the handstand she now has, which is a very controlled, you know, very competent handstand. So you've got to be patient with handstands. A lot of people think, oh, I should be able to get a handstand because everybody can do one on Instagram. That's just not true. You have to build the strength. You have to build the mobility. You have to build the awareness. There's just a lot of layers to, you know, learning this, learning this. And so it is a process. So be patient. Okay. I want to start off by addressing a couple different things. Number one, a handstand is not a static position that you hold indefinitely. It is a controlled fall. You are going into a position that you are very quickly going to fall out of. It's very difficult to hold a handstand for any real length of time. You can stand for, you can literally stand for hours, but you cannot stand in a handstand for more than a certain amount of minutes. So it is just a difficult place to sort of, um, uh, B uh, for any extended period of time and everybody has that problem so nobody's just hanging out in handstands people are learning how to get there stabilize and exit and that's what we're going to be focused on today is getting there stabilizing and exiting as opposed to the conversation being just about being in a handstand this conversation is about entering the handstand and exiting the handstand with control because if you can't enter and exit you have no business being in it right you wouldn't throw yourself up into a position that you can't hold yourself in to then just collapse back down oh but you do and that's how a lot of people learn handstands so with Melaine we really focused on controlling her entry and controlling her exit and that's why she now has a great handstand so let's get started. Mm -hmm. 